I'm about to show you all five different builds for season two, including the one that I've already put BC on. And this is with all the new information we have from 2K Labs on acceleration and so many other stats all put together to save you guys money and create a very good build. Okay, so I finished this season with a 96 win percentage, 1,070 wins, 50 losses, 12 and 0 in the rec, 95 and 13 in the pro-am. So I think that if you're new, man, I'm giving you some pretty good information. The first one I'm gonna show you all, I feel like can play on almost every core in the game. We're going down to a six, eight wingspan and the build is going to have a 72 driving layup because when i go down man i'm usually only wide open you know what i'm saying but i also put a 55 driving dunk on so you can get some of the dunks and we're gonna go actually all the way up to a 73 standing dunk so of course we do got to come back to see you know we're gonna get rise up and stuff but we get fast twitch on bronze the post control is gonna go up to an 81 which is gonna give you post spin technician on gold and this is gonna be a very good bailout type of build like post spin technician on gold is really good and it's super cheap i mean look at this it's literally two overalls from 41 to 43 and if you go up to like 98 overall it's not even gonna move up one overall okay so anyway mid range we're gonna go with a 77 and the reason why we're doing that is because that's the lowest you can possibly get with a 92 three-pointer so as you guys see we're gonna have silver limitless range even though silver limitless doesn't really work that good i mean it's still good to have a high three-pointer we're gonna have gold dead eye and things like that and who knows 2k will probably buff limitless range in the future anyway pass accuracy we're actually gonna go up to an 84. now this is gonna give us silver needle threader i think that needle threader is super good on this game you know you throw a lot of passes and people are not necessarily reaching on passes and passing lanes aren't that good so throwing it straight through people is something you need to do sometimes you're not throwing always wide open passes okay so we're going up to a 92 ball handle which gives us gold unpluckable very very important okay i would love to go 86 and get you know just kimba escape which we'll talk about in a minute but you have to have gold unpluckable on it on every build okay every build that's a guard in my opinion so 83 speed with ball that's going to give us our hyper drives and stuff in a second and I'm gonna go 85 perimeter defense, which is gonna give us silver clamps in a minute and also 85 steel. So the reason why I'm not touching interior or block is, yeah, I mean, block is nice to have bronze chase down. I've definitely, I've already tried that on one of my 1v1 court builds, but interior defense 25 you can wall up in the paint with a 25 and you get plenty of stops okay i recently made two different 1v1 builds one had bronze clamps i deleted it made one that had uh bronze or sorry silver clamps and silver clamps was a night and day difference okay i've also had builds that have silver glove and gold glove and i'm telling y'all man there's been no test yet from 2K Labs, but it is very similar, okay? You get lots of steals. So that's why I'm going to 85, 85. And then offensive rebound, it's gonna be weird. We're going up to a 60 because it's cheaper than upgrading defensive rebound, which will give us bronze rebound chaser, okay? So just so you have some sort of rebound chaser, I go up to a 60 offensive rebound and it's extremely cheap. Now, our speed is gonna go up to an 86. And as you see, we're gonna have gold speed booster, gold hyperdrive. Now, I also went 70. 73 acceleration to get silver blow by because why not it's just two more attributes but as we all know acceleration doesn't matter as much as we thought it did going up to 55 strength to get silver clamps then we're going up to a 60 vertical which gives us bronze rise up and the rest is going to go into our stamina right there but we want to get a little bit more ah that's where it is okay so something went up on accident so 52 close shot and now we are going to have the rest of our stamina at a 99 and if you want like if you play wreck or something you know you can go up on your free throw you can get gold free points and it's super cheap i mean you might as well you can get like one more pass accuracy but i'm gonna do more free throw on a build like this in case i do hop into wreck and things like that but this is not the build that i'm making i'm just showing you guys very good builds i feel like this is a super good all around can play anywhere type of build because i mean it does everything so this is the first build i wanted to show you guys now let's hop into the second one but let's also first look at this build name okay so make sure you understand that i'm showing you guys five different builds man five different builds okay i'm gonna show you four six sixes including the one that i'm making it's a three-point shot hunter and then i'm also showing you a six foot two that i like as well all right this build is gonna be 221 pounds 
we want to go seven foot wingspan and that's going to give us a 92 mid range and a 76 three pointer so if you play threes wreck things like that i still think this is a very good build trust me guys i've made many many builds with a 76 three pointer and because of the badges you get right here like you're gonna have hall of fame open looks and things like that you'll be shooting just fine as long as you're taking smart shots okay but this is more of a twos build although you're gonna see you can play anywhere like you can honestly do anything i really really like this one right here although this is still not the one that i'm making i'm showing you guys different variations for the new season because these are the meta okay if you haven't noticed yet six foot six is amazing now six eight is also good things like that but we're gonna go 83 standing dunk which is gonna give us silver fast twitch and eventually we're gonna get silver rise up and silver rise up is super good okay guys standing dunks are amazing once again we're going 92 post con control because it's super cheap look 62 to 65 overall gives us hall of fame postman technician hall of fame post fade phenom we get gold drop stepper gold unpluckable because we're not going to go 86 or sorry 92 ball handle and i'm going 63 pass accuracy okay now this is the one thing you can change on this build if you don't agree with 63 i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys like i said this is for a twos build although if you you can really just change this around and it can be a threes wreck things like that i've tried 63 twice now on the twos on two different builds and it's worked fine okay so that's why i'm going 63 on the twos because this is a two specific build we'll talk about it in a second what i would change though if you don't 86 ball handle as you see you're not seeing us unlocking anything but the kimba escape okay remember this kimba escape is what even the six two guards and pro am and stuff are using so that's why i'm going to 86 ball handle because that's what you need for kimba escape 75 speed of ball on the dot is going to give you magic johnson dribble style you're going to have bro, uh, pro dribble style basically everything you need okay once again we are going to go 85 perimeter and 85 steel now i don't think clamps has been tested yet by 2k labs or glove but it's been tested by me and like i said if you guys have seen the other build man both of these are night and day okay bronze to silver night and day and i've also tried gold on both and i don't see a big difference from silver to gold on both like big enough to go up to a 93 perimeter or 91 steel is what i'm saying okay so once again we're going to go up to a 60 offensive rebound which is going to give us bronze rebound chaser i like that a lot we're going to go up to an 81 speed and we're also moving up to a 73 acceleration so the build's going to have silver blow by silver speed booster and although gold speed booster is nice like i said this is a two specific build i've made multiple and yes i know i keep saying this if you guys are new i literally have like 17 builds okay this account has nine builds i had to delete one to show you guys this video and then my other account has like seven or eight builds it's nasty okay i've tried lots of builds and i think that i have very good information for you guys regarding what you should upgrade and what you shouldn't because i've literally played the game many many times to understand it okay so 74 strength i would just go to 73 because that gives us our uh gold physical handles but hey in 74 you might as well get that bronze bulldozer you know get some bailouts every now and then 63 vertical is going to give us silver rise up and i'm telling you guys it doesn't probably make sense in your brain that a six foot six is going to be standing dunking like that but it will be okay run into the basket make them jump do a drop you can even do drop steps okay drop steps because we have it gold and it's gonna be very good bailout buckets and it's also super cheap so why you might as well you know anyway 99 stamina and that's gonna finish out this build right here what i did is i just went up on interior defense and that finishes out the build i really really like this for twos uh if we were going to do anything if you wanted to make this for let's say threes or wreck what you could do is you could go down like five driving dunk and then add it to your pass accuracy you see right there or and then you can also go down to a 73 standing dunk and you can get more pass accuracy so you can do what you want but i'm telling you all man for specifically twos i don't see a reason to go much higher on pass accuracy okay but once again if you want to make it super all around literally just changing the pass accuracy is going to make it a very good all around build the 92 post control is going to give you lots of bailouts okay so anyway 
into what the build name is called you're gonna have some pretty nice shades oscar robertson i mean i mean who doesn't want oscar robertson on their build jamal murray and you see it's an inside the arc scorer so let's hop into the next build because now i'm going to show you the one that i'm putting bc on then i'm going to show you one more build to end the video all right so the last build was a specifically for twos as we talked about you can move up the pass accuracy but this is a very very specific build now you'll see what i'm talking about once i get into it this is the build that i've already put my bc on i've already put my time into the build i'll be showing you gameplay soon i'm going for 100 streak soon as the new season starts with this new build right here so i went 72 driving layup and oddly enough this is really weird uh, i went 81 close shot which is going to give me silver fast switch because it's super cheap and yeah i just want to be able to go up with layups and stuff in the paint as soon as i can so 45 standing dunk now you see why i went fast switch so I, when i finally do get those standing dunks we're going to be able to go up quick and not get blocked and stuff like that and i also went 90 post control because it's super super cheap and that's going to give us hall of fame post spin technician if you guys haven't even like even joe knows in the 10k court comp stage sweaty has been using post spin technician all year i've used it on so many builds and it's just a nice little bailout. It's super cheap. You might as well have it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just that type of thing. Anyway, yeah, now let's get into it, okay? <laughs> like I told y'all, specialty build. 98 mid-range, okay? I'm making this build specifically for the threes. We'll talk about what you can do if you want to change it to make it more all around. And I also went 94 three-pointer to get gold agent three. So 98 mid-range to get Hall of Fame Deadeye, Hall of Fame Blinders, Green Machine. Gar I mean, we have everything. We literally have everything except Whistle and yeah, you know, Whistle. Anyway, I went 90 free throw to get gold free points because I will be playing Rec with it and things like that. So this can play Rec, Pro-Am, Threes. Probably wouldn't advise it for the 2v2 court. Of course, we'll talk about that in a minute. You could play the 1v1 event when it's not losers out. So when it's not make it, take it, you could definitely play with this. I went 91 pass accuracy, guys. 91, okay? If you've seen me play with my, my team, bro, my style is passing the ball when my teammates are open. I've got 89 pass accuracy right there at the Tyrese Halliburton pass style like we've talked about. I'm gonna have silver bailout, gold dimer, gold needle threader. I'm gonna be throwing steamer passes, fast as lightning. And I also went 92 ball control, okay? I also went up to, once again, a 83 speed with ball. We need to have, of course, gold on Puckable, so that's why I did that. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> into the defense, we have a 52 perimeter defense and a 60 steal, which is just enough to get bronze interceptor, because as you guys know, like I said, this is a very specialty build. I'm playing with a team. I'm gonna be guarding the lockdown normally, or you know, if they have a secondary ball handler, unfortunately, <laughs> I'll have to guard them. But when, I, when they try to backdoor me, I will have Bronze Interceptor, and that will help a little bit to where I'm not free points. Anyway, 87 acceleration, 82 speed till we get gold speed booster, gold hyperdrive, 52 vertical, and we're going to end it at a 99 stamina. So this is the build that I'm putting, I've already put my VC on, my money, my time into. It is going to be an offensive god, okay? Absolute god on offense. I honestly... Once again, I don't put up standing dunk or sorry, driving dunk on almost any of my builds, guys. It's too expensive. You don't get a lot out of it. When I drive in for a open take, it's a layup. You know, I don't need dunk for that. And yeah, that's the build that I'm making so far. But check out this name, though. Check out this name, though, y'all. This name is awesome. Jerry West and bro, the build is a offense heavy point okay i did not make it just for the build or for, sorry for the name that's just how it came out and i really like the name of this build so let's hop into a six foot two build and then we're gonna end all right this six foot two is something i was going to make right before i made that six foot six but i think a lot of you guys are going to like this build better okay remember use these builds as a template like fill out what i have look at it and be like all right i'm gonna change this because this is what my play style does you know things like that so 75 driving layup 45 standing dunk you see once again i'm not touching driving dunk because i just it's too expensive bro it's too expensive anyway 92 three-pointer which is going to give us silver agent threes we have silver limitless things like that now we're going to go up to a 75 pass accuracy now this build was going to be specifically for threes 
But honestly, you could even play twos with it. You could obviously play wreck. You, you guys will see. Anyway, we are going up to a 95 ball handle. All right, now you guys will see why, of course. Anyway, we're going up with a 91 speed with ball so that we can get Kyrie Irving dribble style. It's the best dribble style in the game in lots of people's opinions. 72 perimeter defense. We're going to get uh, bronze challenger. We're going to have silver off ball pass, and then we're going to get bronze fast feet. And I went up to a 91 steal. Now, I think you could go to 85 and then also get bronze clamps. That's, you know, up to you guys. But what I did is we went 72 and 91. And I was about to make this build until I made the six foot six. I talked to people that play competitive pro-am and a lot of them are making gold, hyperdrive, gold speed booster builds. But as you all see, this build gets Hall of Fame hyperdrive, Hall of Fame speed booster. So the only reason I did not make this was due to the acceleration thing that happened and also the fact that I've seen other competitive players not using. So anyway, they're not using, what's it called? They're not using Hall of Fame Speed Booster because it's just expensive. Anyway, you can go 75 perimeter, then you can also go over, or actually you can't, actually, no, actually, yeah, you can. You can get your bronze clamps. So it's really up to you guys. Do you want sit bronze clamps or do you want to have gold glove, okay? But what I did, what I was going to do, like I said, is get gold glove and then we're gonna finish it off with a 99 stamina. So this build is very nice. I think it's still an extremely solid build and it's really up to you. You know, do you want some defense? Do you want some steel? I think this is a really, really good build for a lot of areas. Maybe not 2v2 because you don't have the most perimeter defense, but you can just walk up and take the ball because you have gold glove. <laughs> so that's how the game is. Anyway, the build is going to be a three-point shot hunter. Now, guys, watch this video of me in the 2K League. I tried out to be in the 2K League to become a 2K League professional. It's a 35-minute banger, okay? So make sure you check it out, man. Click this video, tap it, whatever you got to do. Hopefully, you guys have a good season two. Did not mean to rhyme. Click, tap, whatever you got to do, and I'm out.